Come with us. Hi, Miss Davis. Hi. I'm the principal of Joe Pizzuto. I was like, we're looking for Joe. Thanks for, Thanks for coming today. A Hollywood movie star was a guest speaker at Booker Middle School. We'll see what Gina Davis had to say to the students. It just takes a little bit of muscle. I got my first day. Okay, so that... The Teacher of the Year Award was recently presented, and we'll meet the winner, Melissa Owens, and we'll see her in action in her classroom. Okay, and so what happens when you get mummified? Did you do it good? These Laurel Nokoma students are getting their hands dirty as they work in their garden and learn some valuable lessons about growing their fruits and vegetables. These students are ready for the first class of a brand new program at Venice Middle School. It's called the Young Marines and it will start in the fall. We're going to get a look at this exciting new opportunity. So please stay with us for all of these stories, and they're only on this edition of Education Excellence. Hi, I'm Peter Siren, a senior from the Digital Video Production Department at Suncoast Polytechnical High School. And to start off this edition of Education Excellence, students at Booker Middle School got a very special guest speaker, a Hollywood movie star, Gina Davis. She was in town for the Sarasota Film Festival and only visited two schools. Here's a look at her stop at Booker Middle School, and we'll find out how this exciting event turned out. Hi, Ms. Davis. Hi. I'm the principal of Joe Pizzuto. I was like, we're looking for Joe. Thank you. Thanks for coming today. Oh, my pleasure. Oh, well, it was very, very, um, you know, n nervous, you know, because you don't meet somebody like that. And, she, and I'm very glad that her, with her research, you know, because I, I have noticed now when, when they told me about her research. And it was, it was nice, you know. So I started thinking about why did they want me to come here and speak to you? What specifically did they hope that I could impart to you? And uh, I decided, well, it's obvious. They want me to share any experiences I've had or insights I've learned. Like, I thought it would be much different because, like, a movie star is coming to visit us, but it wasn't as, like, she opened up to us, and I felt comfortable. I felt it was a good experience. Nice to have her here. So when it came time for college, I decided that I was going to study acting at Boston University. I lived in Massachusetts. It's been fabulous having Gina Davis on campus. You know, being a partner with the Sarasota Film Festival has really opened a lot of doors for us. So the next time you face a challenge... And having the chance to have Gina Davis come on our campus and launch a, a connection and a relationship with the Gender Equity Institute that she, as a part of her foundation, is going to be tremendous. The chance for, for our kids to start to look at the world through that lens of equity. Here at Booker Middle School, we, we focus on diversity, not tolerating diversity, but respecting the differences that are among all of us and celebrating the fact that we all have inner talents. The work that Gina Davis is doing with the Institute in, in recognizing that there's an imbalance will help improve our students' awareness of the world around them and what role they're going to play in the future. I think it shows that this believing in yourself can really take over. The film festivals uh, program is, is outreach to the community. And these kids are, are studying the arts, and including media, and uh, I think it's uh, important to educate the next generation of content creators. It made me realize in a very powerful way how few opportunities we give women and girls to feel excited and inspired by the female characters. It's definitely not your typical day. Um, I've been looking forward to this ever since I found out. There's definitely advantages of being in student council and, uh, you know, having a movie actress come here. I mean, that's a big deal. And to listen to her, I mean, it was so intriguing and just to know that people are still out there making differences and as big as her, I thought that was really awesome. 
Yeah, exactly. We can even say 50-50. You know, I'm fine with that. I don't like to, I don't quibble about it, but it is 51% women. Okay. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, it's not your everyday thing, so I feel very, I have like, it's just amazing because I'm very grateful that I got the experience to meet her. And the female characters that were there, very often their only job was to look good. And I'm sure you can think of a lot of characters uh, that are like that. It, well, I think it's scary. very special that we were selected because we ha may have small visits here and there, but it's never anything this big. I mean, she's been in movies. And, so I think everyone was excited and appreciated it. Or when there are hardly any female characters at all. And what message do you think that boys would get from seeing this? It was wonderful to watch their they eyes as the, the research that they had done just recently came to life before so them. A lot of the sure. statistics, I really was impressed by Ms. Davis's mastery of the statistics of her research. And I was watching as the students really tuned in that for them, the numbers were real. It mattered. It wasn't just some math problem. They were able to make that connection. And the questions that my students were able to ask of Ms. Davis showed the level of complexity and the, and the thought that these types of activities, arts integration. And the gender inequality in our movies and television and society will become a relic of the past. I mean, they only picked originally 40 kids to be here out of 997 students that go here. And to be as lucky to be one of those 40 kids in the only middle school that she came to was so awesome. And just thinking that I just is, met a movie actress and stood right next to her was but, uh, just the coolest thing ever, definitely. People, there's no conspiracy in Hollywood to ignore girls or um, you know make them feel less important. I think I'm just gonna burst into my house and just scream that I met her. It's just amazing. I'll brag about it on Facebook. I'll do whatever I can. <laughs> From what I know about this school, it's a great school and you guys are getting an exceptional education and will become the kind of leaders that we need to see, all of you. So thank you very much. What a great experience for those students. Coming up on Education Excellence. Who lived on the banks of the flowing of the Nile River thousands of years ago. The Teacher of the Year Award was recently presented, and Melissa Owens from Bay Haven School is this year's winner. We visited her school and went to the classroom to see one of the best teachers in action. That story, when Education Excellence continues after this short time out. Without modern day machinery and technology, what sort of people had created them? Did they use slaves to build them? Who paid for them? And are the rumors that the parents... All right, guys, we gotta be smarter about what we bite on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're gonna run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm gonna run around circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises, like this. When it comes to playing, we kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up. To play 16! If your school doesn't have a program, be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement. Every year, one of our teachers is honored with an award as an Outstanding Teacher of the Year. This year, that honor went to Melissa Owens, a third grade teacher at Bay Haven School. We went to her classroom and got to see one of the best in action. All right, remember we start our mornings thinking about teamwork and working together. So we have a big lesson planned for today with Center Activity, which requires teamwork, which is a surprise. Um, you know, when I began the journey and I was nominated at Bay Haven, it was just an awesome experience. And then when I went to do the paperwork and I felt that, oh gosh, this is a lot of work, but at the same time I was ready for the challenge. And it gave me a chance to look at education, where we are today, where we've come from, when I started 26 years ago. And the ball just kept rolling. And I just felt ready to make the challenge. And I did, and went through the interview. And then we came out for a spirit day, which was in the morning. And I remember I was so upset because it was my reading block. And um, Mrs. Ashton Dean usually has it at the end of the day. 
And so all of a sudden I saw this entourage of the school board people and they surprised me with the district. And so I was incredibly honored. Um, we all work hard in the school system. We have great teachers in Sarasota County. So I'm just incredibly, incredibly honored to represent Bay Haven. And then when I was chosen as the overall teacher of the year at Michael's on East, wow, that was just an awesome, it's a moment of a lifetime. Missy Owens of Bay Haven School. It's really nice to have her, like, it's really nice to have the, like, the Teacher of the Year for Sarasota County. And it's really fun to, it's really fun when she teaches you. Whoa. <laughs> All right, what would my third graders say to me right now? It makes me feel really happy. When I go home, I start cheering a lot. It's just exciting. And I will serve Sarasota County so proud. So I thank you again from the bottom of my heart. It's kind of exciting. Well, because she's like teacher of the year, and it's like cool because we get like all sorts of surprises. And it's, she's a fun teacher real quickly. And of course we have those gigantic pyramids. She encourages us to do a lot of stuff. Like if we need help on work, like she'll just encourage us to try our best and do it. Who lived on the banks of the flowing of the Nile River thousands of years ago. Well, I, I just love coming to work every day. You know, it's just, I never really knew I had a gift, but you, not everyone can be a teacher. So to have that relationship and rapport with kids and to give them the tools in life that they need to be able to be successful is so important. And I just love interacting with children. I love coming to work. I love getting down on the floor. I like getting my hands in paint. I mean, I just think that they give me the seeds so that I can grow. And I learn from them as well. Oh, good job. And you remember Giza. Very good. Well. It, she likes, she explains the work that she teaches us in a fun way and it makes you really want to learn. <laughs> the guts, the liver, the spleen, the eyeballs, just everything and they put them in jars. Yeah. She deserves it because she's a really good teacher and she teaches us right and she's, she's helping us learn. Like I learned stuff I didn't know. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> They're stuck with me. <laughs> so it's, yeah, and I, I plan to continue teaching a while longer. I'm not, I'm not ready to stop. So it's, it's been a wonderful journey and I will continue to embrace that journey. And treasures. Okay, give me another item that you have know. Again, congratulations to Melissa Owens, Sarasota County's Teacher of the Year. Coming up next on Education Excellence. Did everyone get seats? Space them out. They shouldn't be right next to each other. These students are getting their hands dirty and learning how to get their garden to grow. That story when Education Excellence continues after this short break. I thought this was your garden. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. And if you, wait, if you need something for the box, go to Miss Paula and get some beans. She's right there. Hands can do incredible things. Now they can even help save a life with hands-only CPR. If you see an adult suddenly collapse, just call 911, then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. Learn more at handsonlycpr.org. At Laurel Nokomis School, the student garden is a tradition and students have worked and learned about gardening for the past 13 years. The student garden has flowers, fresh herbs, and students who love to watch the fruits of their labor. 
We've caught up with them as they were busy checking out their crops. And we're gonna add a few corn plants in here because, well, who, whose big yellow flower is that? Well, I'm speechless. I have so many things to say about the garden. For one thing, I like it, I like when it blooms because then you can see different kind of animals like crawl on it, have enjoyable life. Sometimes I like to see the little bees going onto my flowers because I, I like touching them. I like to see little butterflies on them. It, it really experiments me for how they like the garden and how they experiment it. What I want you to do now is I want you to just look at the garden and see if you can find a pollinator. It's just fun to watch the plants um, grow and you can like, it's just, it's really nice to see them grow. You can have a bunch of plants, you can have your own garden, you can have, each person gets a different garden. It's, each one has their own personal one. We're looking for pollinators. I love how the, the plants, I just like the plants and how um, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch them grow and to um, plant them. I think planting and watering, that's very fun for me. See right there? They have a shield-like shape to them. Oh, I messed with those before. So I like it because you get to work, because you get to plant so many things that are quite cool, like, like corn, vegetables, sweet smelling flowers and good in things they can eat. And I like it because when, when they blossom, when it grows, you can, it's quite beautiful. And it's cool. Those are buds. You know, that's what was on another one. It might have been a really miniature bee. I think that one of the most important things is getting children outside and to interact with nature and learn their science in a hands-on kind of way. I think it's really important for, for kids to get outside in, the, in these days where everyone's plugged into a computer or sitting still in a classroom. It really does. It gives them something that they can hold on to for the rest of their life. They can always do gardening. It's easy and they get get to enjoy the fruits of their labor and that. Yes, it is. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it to do the dirt and stuff like that, to see stuff grow and have experimenting. It looks pretty good when it grows. You can see blossoms. When it grows, you can actually see the, um, the the blooming come out and it looks so beautiful. Whoa. Oh yeah, this one's really good. What's that? That little bug there. The harvest, when you harvest the plant, is the best part to see what you've grown by yourself and what you've personally made. So many of you kids used to start screeching every time you saw a bee and now you can sit right up there and look at them. Yeah, it was when you uh, pull them out and like, uh, for example, the carrots, I love uh, pulling the carrots out and it's fun to take them home and have them in a salad or something. It's, that's, that's cool because that you've, you've planted those and you've grown those on your own. Oh, and here's another one. Yeah, right on the vine. Now that's the best part. That's another reason why I like gardening because when you get to taste it, oh my God, it tastes way better than getting it from the store. I mean, this is so natural and so good. I mean, when you actually plant it, you can actually taste that natural stuff. So. I like it. Now that's fun. Two corn seeds each. What do you want me Just to try to find a place for them right in this the garden. The neat thing is that parents always come up to me and tell me that um, that their kids have insisted that they eat their five or six little green beans that they bring home. I mean, it has to be part of the family meal. I mean, it's just very neat to hear that they like their vegetables when they grow them themselves. <laughs> so, okay, well, don't hit it. Don't hurt it and it won't hurt you. What a great opportunity for those students. And many told us they will be planting and starting a garden at their home. Coming up next. Ace. Oh, hurt. Arch. Left. Left. The Marines are Left. on their way. Right. Yes, that's right. And these students will be among the first class of the young Marines at Venice Middle School. That story right after this break.
I think my purse is upstairs on the bed. It's not here. Check the dining room. No, the upstairs closet. Moms everywhere are finding closet. ways to keep kids active and healthy. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. A brand new program will start in the fall at Venice Middle School. The program is called The Young Marines, and for students interested in learning about leadership and getting a very basic introduction to the military, the Young Marines program can accommodate up to 88 students. And here's a look as the program was marched into action. I felt excited, like, gonna train me how to do leadership skills and be kinder to people and yeah. Welcome everyone to the launch of the Venice Middle Marines program. Leadership centered, character driven. I am very, very excited about this program because I was looking forward to it for a career, like following in my cousin's footsteps because they're all in the army and I thought that maybe I could be in the Marines which indicated a desire by families to have a military-based program available to South County students. I'm glad to see any type of program start. Anything that's going to help kids get outside and, you know, and do things together, I think that's always a good thing. Four core academic teachers will teach language arts, math, science, and social studies classes. Well, I've had experience in the Army, like my, both my grandfathers were in the Navy and the Air Force, so I thought I'd get experience for it. Our students will have a six-period day, as will all our students. We're very excited about being a South County Magnet School, offering the Young Marines program. Um, with all of the endorsements that we have gotten from the military side, it assures an exciting time for us. They will wear their red polo shirt with an authentic United States Marine emblem. Confidence. I, I want them to gain confidence in themselves and in their abilities and in the skills they learn from being in this program. Uh, and, and really, selfishly, I'd like them to take that to the higher level. It teaches leadership. I'm very, very glad and that's really cool that my school is the first. I have also volunteered to be the interim unit commander here at Venice Middle School for the Young Marines. I couldn't wait for it because I just really wanted to do it. It would be something new for me. We'll focus, that curriculum focuses on respect, responsibility, caring, caring for one's personal self, personal growth, fitness. Well, you know, academic excellence is always our first job. Um, we want them to be excellent students, but we also want them to become excellent people who, um, you know, will become leaders in their yes. own right one day. And to understand, you know, that respect and responsibility and trust and all of the qualities we believe in as a community of caring school will actually help lead them to where they want to go. Yes, they're going to have a lot of programs like, uh, you know, after school functions or even summer functions that they're going to get out and, you know, make new friends and get outside of like the regular routine that, you know, a lot of schools have gotten in these days. Once the um, Young Marines Charter is approved, they will send all of that information to us. Yes, uh, it, it's always a, a great thing to see people succeed and, and I hope to help them with that. I'm very oh, glad. It, it's the it's the only well it's the first school that's uh, doing this like all day and stuff. Oh, hurt, arch, left, 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 right. It, it is a big deal because uh, it, you know it's it's a magnet program. Hopefully, it's going to draw uh, students who want to be leaders. I think I want to be a marine. Why? Because my cousins and... I didn't realize it was the right picking uh, shirts. I ought to look like one for myself. If you're interested in learning more about the Young Marines program, you can call Venice Middle School at 941-486-2108. For more information and how to register. Well, that will wrap up this edition of Education Excellence. We thank you for joining us. I'm Peter Sirin, a senior from the Digital Video Production Department at Suncoast Polytechnical High School. 
And if you would like to contact us at Education Excellence, our phone number is 941-361-6355. Or you can check out our website at www.theedchannel.net. And we thank you for watching Education Excellence.